People always ask me, coach, what do you eat in a day? And people think that you cannot eat the foods that you love and that you won't get results if you have that bowl of ice cream. It's funny, I'll post a photo or a video of like ice cream on my Instagram stories and people will just be like sending me a DM. It's like, can you eat that? Are you allowed to eat that? Or I'll be at a restaurant and somebody will sit next to me and like I'll have a pizza in front of me. They're like, should you be eating that? And I'm like, of course. Right? Like if you want to actually get results and make it sustainable, then you have to eat the foods that you love, but you make it work within your caloric budget. And so in today's video, I actually want to give you the breakdown of what I do every single day. And then this is an opportunity for you to build your routine to get lean and mean. So the first thing is my intermittent fasting schedule is that I make it a hard stop at 8 p.m. I start again at 11 a.m. And I only drink either EAAs after 8 p.m. and then water or tea for fluids prior to me breaking my fast at 11 a.m. And I do this because the EAAs, they do have artificial sweeteners in them, but they will break your fast. But at 8 p.m., my fast has just begun anyways. So in that sense, it doesn't really matter. I'm not really focused on the fat loss component, like the every little hour of fat loss that fasting does provide, I'm more focused on keeping it under my calories, which to me has been the most effective method to keeping my body fat down. And then just time, right? Like I just don't do this for four weeks. I've been doing this for like four years straight. And so the EAAs provide that sweetness that I need after eight that makes me not eat another Nary's bar or make me not eat another dish of food. Now, in the morning, I prefer tea, and i am actually been off coffee for a couple weeks now, so I just do my black tea with my, my stevia, so it's the organic stevia because it tastes so good, and I look forward to eating it or drinking it every single day. And there's a lot of fat-burning properties in tea, and it also helps with like make me feel like I've actually eaten something, and then it keeps me fed until after I coach, which is in and around 10.30, and I get home in and around 11 a.m. Now the first thing that I consume at between 11 and noon is the green shake. The green shake is like the best way to start my day. It's, it's a great way for the body to go inside the intestines, go inside like your visceral and just like take all that stuff that you've eaten the night before and just take it with it and just like push it right out. Now lately I've actually been enhancing my green shake because I went to the grocery store and I seen that they had these like little shooters for like five bucks each. And I was like looking at the ingredients, I was like, I can just make that at home. So I use the greens, the, the G-R-E-E-A-N-S. So it's got E-A-A's and it's got all the superfoods in it. I add turmeric, like the, the fresh turmeric, fresh ginger, which I absolutely love. And I only do a splash of cayenne pepper because I had a problem where I put way too much cayenne pepper and burnt my esophagus. So just a splash of cayenne pepper and then just black pepper, just a grind. And that's the first thing with, with about three cups of spinach. So I'm eating as much spinach as I would probably eat in an entire day in one shake. And my body absolutely loves it. And I know this because it helps to keep regular. And you know when it's out of you, when it's out of you. So the first thing is always that green shake. It's the best way to put something absolutely positive in your body. And it's got a lot of antioxidants in it. The second thing is going to be my Pro Pro. So my protein shake, I do a double limitless, the Ferrero Rocher. It's so tasty. It's an isolate. So it's at least 90% protein or more. And then I have a treat, which is the Nary's bar. And if you guys know about the Nary's bar, there's no like additives that keep this thing fresh on the shelves for over a year. Like this thing, if you leave it out, it's gonna melt and it's gonna go bad. So to me, I like to have non-processed, like heavy process or like the things that, preservatives that keep these things like whole for as long as possible. Like a Neri's bar is gonna go bad after a couple days of sitting out on the cabinet. So I like to do the double scoop of protein to get my protein up. And then I like the Neri's bar as a treat. Then I stop eating till about two because I have meetings. Oftentimes these meetings require a lot of thought process or I'll do filming with Jerome. And as such, I don't want to be like, have a heavy meal in me and make me sluggish. So I'll usually 
have my first actual food at 2 p.m. and it's gonna be some type of protein. So just depending on where we're at with our meal prep, if it's, you know, like some, like we just got back from a trip, so we're so busy that all we were able to do is pick up a rotisserie chicken, it's already made, so I'll have the rotisserie chicken and then I'll pair it with the yummy carb, like french fries, right? So french fries in the air fryer. Now remember, it's all about balance. So earlier, what did I have as my first thing? I had my green shake, right? So that green shake has the spinach, has all my greens in it, and it's, it's going to be able to balance out the protein and the carb, because I don't want to have a salad with that. I just want to eat that. It's very like low density food, but it provides a lot of like protein and it gives me the carbs that I need. So I balance the greens, which is super healthy, with like something that's not so healthy, like the french fries and the rotisserie chicken, I would give it kind of like in between, yes, it's protein, but you know, it's a lot of salt, a lot of fat, that kind of stuff. So it creates that balance. So I'll have that in and around 2 p.m. Then after, if I'm not shredding, then I will have my ice cream. But the ice cream is gonna be the no sugar added ice cream. I take a half a Neri's bar, I crumble it up, and then I use the stevia chocolate chips just to add a little bit of crunch in there. And then I use a sugar-free caramel sauce. And like, I like it sweet. So to me, that's already super sweet. But when I enter into my fitness pal, it's only about 420 calories. And honestly, after one bowl, I'm good to go. Like that's it. So then I will stop eating until after my 515 workout. So I work out from 515 to about six. And then I just repeat the same thing. Like I just, it's gonna be a protein. It's gonna be some type of yummy carb. It's probably gonna be an ice cream. And then I might pair it with one of those done for you salads, like the kale salad, because they have that sweet, they have like the little, um, you know, the, the cranberries, like it's just so tasty. And so I'll keep it super simple like that. And I'll eat like that probably five to six times a week. Usually we'll go out to eat once a week, but then again, I bounce it out with all the other things. I stay under my calories, I hit my protein goals, and then whatever else happens after that, happens after that. But if I was shredding, then I would start to cut my calories. And the first place I would cut my calories from is gonna be the snacks. The second place I'm gonna cut my calories from is gonna be <laughs> the yummy carb. And then I just focus on the greens and the proteins. So if you're looking to shred down, then this is an everyday thing for me. But if I was doing a four week shred, so let's say I had a trip in four weeks, I would start off eating exactly like this. And I would make sure that I'm staying in my calories and hitting my protein goals. The second week is I would start to eliminate one of the, the, the snacks, right? So I would get rid of the second bowl of ice cream. The third week, the bowl of ice cream would be gone. And then by the middle of the week of that third week, I would cut out the yummy carb. And then into the last 10 days of a shred, I would just eat lean protein and vegetables and then continue with my fasting routine. So as you can see, the way that I eat is not super complex. It's also very sustainable for me. I like to eat those foods. You might like to eat something else. So you can swap out your yummy, my yummy carb for your yummy carb. Keep it simple with the proteins, get your shakes in you, enjoy your desserts, but know when it's time to start cutting things out start to cut your calories and you're gonna be able to get more results and keep those results for a longer term. Now, if you don't know what to eat and you want to drop some fat, I put together a simple three-day meal plan. I put in the link in the description. So go into the description, click the link, enter your email, boom, you got yourself a three-day meal plan.